Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to do about a 10 pound prime rib on my brand new pellet grill. It's the Pit Boss Austin XL 1000. I've cooked a couple things on it. So far that grill, I love it. It's so simple and it gives such a nice smoke flavor to meat. I uh, really, really like it so far. I'd like to just get this prime rib seasoned up. So let's just get to this. We got to let it rest for a little while with the seasoning on it and get it out there and get it smoking. So Let's get down here and get to work. So this is a bone-in, and I've got some of this uh, pit bull barbecue stuff here, which is great. Really, really like this. This is just GSP garlic, pepper, salt, and it's pretty coarse ground stuff. So what I want to do is just get this thing seasoned up really well with this first. And we've got another seasoning we're going to add to. Next up, we've got our pit bull. This is beef rub. It's got a little kick to it. It's also got a lot of good flavor to it, so I'm not going to put a ton of this on because I don't want to overpower the just the flavor of the meat, but I am going to put some on. I'm going to transfer this onto my rack here. I'm actually going to smoke this prime rib in this rack. So probably just like so. That'll go in the smoker, but first I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'm going to let it sit in there for about four hours before we get it on the, on the smoker. So, okay, off to the fridge. Next I'm going to make a little compound butter here. So I've got just a little bit of rosemary fresh out of the garden. I'm going to dice this up really, really small. Okay, now we can just add this into our softened butter here. Then next I've got four large cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to squeeze these in here. I'm going to take a little bit of smoked paprika. I'm not going to measure it, but probably about a teaspoon or so. And last, just some coarse ground black pepper. Not a lot, just a, just a little bit. I'm just going to take my fork and just start mixing this up. Okay, so I've got this pretty well mixed up here. And now, the star of the show. Bones are on the bottom, so I'm mainly worried about just the top. All I want to do is just put this on here and kind of smother it around. I did uh, warm this up in the microwave just a little bit so it would be easier to spread. I didn't want to knock all that rub off. So I'm just going to get this thing coated, then we're going to go out and fire up the uh, pit boss compound butter on here, so out to the smoker, get that fired up. I'm just going to let this sit here in room temperature until I get the uh, pit boss going. Okay, we got the hopper full of uh, hickory here, so we're going to turn this on the smoke setting. Let that get rolling. On startup, this thing creates an amazing amount of smoke. Okay, so I'm going to slide this on here. This is the cooler side of my grill, so I'm going to keep it on this side here. I've got my probe, and I'm going to try to go just dead center. Now this is on P4. It's the smoke setting 4. I'm just going to leave it on smoke for a while, probably a few hours. I did have to take out my rack. Prime rib wouldn't fit. I'm going to try to keep the uh, temperature around that uh, 225 mark for a while, maybe a little bit lower, but uh, we'll see. So we'll check back here in a couple hours. Okay, so the prime rib has been on here for three hours now. Let's, uh, let's open the lid see what it looks like so far. Um, currently we are at 86 degrees inter internal temperature and the pit boss is running about 195. That 
looks amazing. I'm liking that a lot. All right, get our lid closed. This should be done in another two and a half to three hours, so uh, um, we'll get this up to about 110, and then we're gonna sear it and then finish the cook. So, see you back in a bit. And I think uh, to go along with the prime rib, we're just gonna do some of these smoked baked potatoes. I'm just gonna take a fork, just kind of poke them all around. Not deep, just, uh, just so they don't blow up on the grill. These will smoke for about two hours. Okay, so got these all punctured. I'm gonna take some really good olive oil here and some salt. All I wanna do is just uh, get a little coating on these just for the salt to stick. Okay, so the temperature in the pit is now about 107, so I'm going to go ahead and crank the heat up to high on this pit boss and uh, take the prime rib out, let that come up to temp, and then we're going to open those vents inside and get this thing a nice sear, turn the temperature back down and let it finish off. So let's do that. Took this up to about 125, pulled it, let it rest for about 20 minutes now. And let's take these bones off of here. Oh, look at that. That is amazing looking. All right, here's the real test. I'm gonna slice a little end piece off here. Look at this. That is so good looking. Okay, so I have to sneak a bite before the angry mob outside gets to me. Okay, here we go. The mob's not gonna be angry. This is so good. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna eat. We'll see you next time.